Let's talk about exams Medical board exams With Dr. Kwafu Viewers, on this channel, I interview doctors who have successfully passed or failed any medical board exams to share the exams preparation experience with us and with all those preparing to write this. If you are watching me and you have experience in any medical board exams and would like to share with us, kindly contact me on my Facebook page, Instagram, or leave a comment at the comment section of this video and I'll keep in touch. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel and recommend this channel to any medical student or medical doctor who is preparing to write the board exams of any country. Thank you. Hello viewers. Welcome back to the medical board exam experience with Dr. Kwafu. Today we are going to have a short discussion about the inconsistencies in US residency March 2021. I say inconsistency because there are some known criteria that an international medical graduate needs to meet before he or she can get to March into residency in US. But at the end of this year's March uh, matching program, few friends who matched into residency this year shared their credentials with me. Those who did not also match, some of them shared their credentials with me. And as I compared these credentials, I saw that some of the students did not meet the known criteria, but they matched. Some students who even met the criteria did not match. So today we are going to compare these, cre the, these credentials to see what exactly the residency matching program needs from the international medical graduates so that we can focus on these areas as we prepare for our residency match in the coming years. First of all, let's look at some of these known requirements that one needs to meet to get the chance to match into residency in U US. First of all, you need to have the good scores. You need to have the scores. You need to have passed all the uh, required exams, the step one, the step two CK and the OET, previously it was the CS. You also need to have US clinical experience. You also need to have US letter of recommendation. You need to also have, um, you need to have research and publication. You need to have contacts. Year of graduation has to be below or five years, not more than five years. Usually more than five years, it is seen as a red flag. You have visa status. We all know that it's always good to either be a citizen or a green card holder. And also, you should also have a good interview skills. So these are basically some of the, the criteria that are, that are known among the international medical graduates that at least you need to meet at least five of these criteria to increase your chance of marching into residency program in US. Now, let's look at the March 1. All these, uh, we are going to compare eight students who marched into internal medicine and some students who did not march into internal medicine. We are going to compare their credentials. And for the sake of better comparison, I, I chose um, credentials or students who applied to more than 100 programs. So all these students applied to more than 100 programs and all of them also applied into internal medicine program. So March 1, um, this doctor or student has step 1, 250 plus, CK 250 plus, CS passed, year of graduation 216. He has no U.S. clinical experience, no U.S. letter of recommendation, but he had letter of recommendation from home country and he also needed visa. So basically he met the criteria for the score. He got good scores. Year of graduation is five years, which is also okay. And he had letter of recommendation from home country, but usually they need, it is usually advisable to have that of US letter of recommendation. So, and he also needed visa. So if you look at the known criteria, he met at least, uh, at most three. So um, probably one would say he might have 
had contacts with some program directors or his interview skills was very good nobody knows but then if you have an, an idea um, about some of the potential reasons why this uh, person matched you can just leave a comment at the comment section you just let me know matched one probably due to this so that we all learn from this credential and focus on these important areas let's look at march 2. this person matched with step one score of 216 on a third attempt usually an attempt is seen as um, a red flag but it is always advised that you come back stronger this person matched with 216 step one 216 on third attempt and also came back with an average score in ck so and he also used the cs pathway he passed the cs but then he went ahead to take step three he had 212 in step three year of graduation 216 which is about five years which is good no u.s clinical experience no letter of recommendation no publication he also need visa he has no green card or is not a citizen of u.s so what might have um, helped this student though he had a third attempt probably could it be that he had a uh, contact or he had um, good interview skills or maybe the step three really helped so this student if you also um, know what might have contributed or helped in his matching successfully uh, with this credential you can also let me know that March 2 probably due to this in the comment section so that we can all learn from this credential. Now, March 3, the student had 203 in second attempt. And then he came back with CK 221, which is an average score. He had CS passed, but went ahead to take step 3, 221. Year of graduation is 2018, which is good. And uh, he also indicated that he had contact. So probably, though he had an attempt, he probably compensated that with step three. And also he had um, contact. So in my opinion, the contacts might have helped. He's also a US citizen, which, is, which also um, gives a plus to this credential. So to me, the being a citizen, having a contact, and uh, taking the step three might have really contributed to his successful matching let's look at the match four this student had step one 248 ck 253 he used the oet pathway so he passed the oet he had clinical experience of four months and the year of graduation 2019 us and also us citizen so he met the score criteria the clinical experience uh good year of graduation and add to that he also had us he's, he's also a u.s citizen so i think this is quite good credential though it he didn't indicate whether he had a contact or um he he obviously he also didn't have um research or any publication so far not none of the successful uh matched candidates had research or publications i think those who those who are those that we have seen so far those who had attempt compensated with either uh, having contacts or um, taking the step three. So this student also matched. So if you if you actually know what might have contributed to this student's match successfully, you can leave uh, the comment at the comment section so that we can all learn from it. Let's look at the match five candidate. Step one two thirty plus CK two fifty plus CS passed he even went ahead with all these good scores he went ahead to take step three and got 220 plus year of graduation is good about four years and he had two months of u.s clinical experience in private clinic he had one u.s letter of recommendation seven letters from home country and seven publications man to me i think this is um it's obvious that he matched is good because he had probably met he obviously might have met all the credentials or the known criteria, except um, he didn't indicate whether he had contacts or not. But I think, uh, but if you know why he matched, you can also let us know in the comment section. Let's look at the candidate six. Why he matched? He matched with step one score of two twenty two, 
CK218, CS passed, and the year of graduation is 2012. So this person can be considered as an old graduate um, with more than five years of year of graduation, which is usually seen as red flag. But he had five research papers, four US letter of recommendation, and he needed visa. He also indicated that this is the third time he's applying for March. So he successfully marched on the third attempt with these course and also five research papers with four US letter of recommendation. He didn't take the step today. He didn't indicate that he had contacts. But then with this credential, if um, you you know what might have helped an old graduate year of graduation of 2012 to March um, in these credentials, let us know in the comment section so that we can all learn from it. With the March 7, uh, he has step 1 of 234, CK237, second attempt. Usually an attempt can be seen as a red flag, but he went ahead to take the step 3 and got 206. He had the CS passed year of graduation in 2015, which is uh, a little over uh, 5 years. Oh yeah, and he also indicated that he called some of the program directors. So he had contacts and uh, so aside uh, an attempt in CK, he went ahead to take the step three. He also had contact. So maybe the contact and interview skills and the step three might have contributed hugely in this uh, doctor's success. The March 8th, step one, he had 256, CK 257 two months of um, US clinical experience. He passed CS, went ahead to take step three and passed. He had no publication year of graduation 2019 and he also need visa. So I think he had a very good score. He also had US clinical experience and he also went ahead to take the step three, um, but no publication. He didn't indicate whether he had contact or not and he also needed visa. So let us know in the comment section what might have contributed to the success of this uh, credential so that um, we also focus on these areas as we prepare for our match. Let's look at those who did not match. Step 1, he had 224. Step 2, CK 240. He passed CS. Year of graduation is 2018 and he's also a US citizen. He did not match. Let me know why do you think this credential or this doctor did not match? Is it interview skills? Is it contacts? Was he supposed to have taken um, step three? Was he supposed to have done some research? What do you think this student should do to enable him match next year? Let us know in the comment section. On March 2, he also had step 1, 212. CK226, CS passed, went ahead to take step 3225, four months of US clinical experience, year of graduation 2018, few publications, and still did not match. He had no attempt. He had he went ahead to take step 3 to compensate probably the step 1 low score. So what exactly is the problem? He didn't indicate whether he needed a visa or not, but what exactly was the problem? Let us know. And what do you think this candidate can do to improve his credential to enable him match next year? Let us look at this doctor. He also had step 1, 240, CK 240, CS passed, year of graduation 2019, three months US clinical experience. He need visa. He did not match. He had good scores, CS passed, three months, clinical experience, young graduate. So what exactly was he supposed to have taken step three? Are we all supposed to take step three? No, because some people did not take, but they matched. Is he supposed to get contacts? Some people did not get contact, but they matched. So what exactly, what exactly? Is it interview skills? Let me know in the comment section. What do you think contributed to this patient's um, inability to match in this year's um, program. Um, so let's compare, especially the person who matched March 1 and the on March 3. 
you can see that he got 250 plus the unmatched person got 240 plus these are all good scores ck250 ck240 good scores they all pass cs year of graduation for the march persons 2016 which compared to the unmatched one 2019 is quite uh, old that person is an old graduate compared to the unmatched person the match one had no u.s clinical experience but the unmatched one had three months of it he had no u.s letter recommendation but the match one had two u.s letter recommendation um they both need visa so looking at this credential what exactly why did the this the on why did the unmatched person with this credential why did he not match let us let us know in the comment section so that we can all learn because i'm looking at this um personally i do not see uh, why he did not match because they all apply to the same uh program um the same number of programs over 100 programs uh probably could it be interview skills maybe let me know let me know your thoughts in the comment section so that we can all learn from it um let us also compare the march 2 to the march 1. um march 2 had third attempt he matched but he, he passed step one with third attempt ck had 224 he passed cs step 3 to uh 12 year of graduation, year of graduation 216 u.s clinical experience no no letter of recommendation no publication but the unmatched one got step one 224 no attempt ck 240 more than the match person past years year of graduation is quite better than the match person he also did not have clinical experience no letter of recommendation no publication just as the match one but the match one passed step three so could it be that the unmatched one should have taken step three and also but the unmatched one is a u.s citizen the the match one is not a u.s citizen so so at this point even the match person u.s citizenship did not help him could it be interview skills what is actually the problem what do the residency matching program really need what do program directors really need from the international medical graduates please let's um analyze these credentials and let me know your thoughts in the in the comment section thank you for watching and uh, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel thank you once again